Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Terry Thornberry Performance. You know I got my pit vipers on, so you know it means one thing. It's a beautiful, nice, sunny day out here in California. So let's go see inside the shop and what we're going to be doing. The shop definitely looks a lot different from the last time you guys seen it. Because, like we said in the last videos, we got some big moves. Now, with that being said, we are actually moving from this location to another location, which is actually going to now open bigger and better uh, opportunities and doors for Jack and I to now expand and, you know, make the business that much bigger. Now, you guys will just have to wait and see the final location of the home headquarters of Terry Thornberry Performance. So don't need to worry, it's not too far from here, from this San Bernardino location. It's about 12 minutes away from this location. So we're still kind of local to the Inland Empire and San Bernardino. So don't think we're gonna be, you know, moving too far or, you know, um, you know anywhere, you know, out of the area. So, First things first, let's just uh, go around the shop and show you guys you know, what we've pretty much done so far. We've got the motor all pretty much situated in Johnny's car. We actually went with the V8 this time instead of the KAT. We want a little bit more torque, a little bit more bottom end. So we threw in the big V8 Japanese fire breathing dragon. Now with that being said, we got another fire breathing dragon motor over here. This is a S15 SR20 DE engine out of an S15 in Japan. So they actually imported this uh, engine and my customer got it from a local JDM import shop. So with that being said, we're just going around. Showing everyone, Bert just showed up to work. You look like you just rolled out of bed, dog. What's going on? Good morning, y'all. Let it rise and grind, bro. So, again, Jack's uh, motor's room, and you know, everything's already pretty much packed up, situated. So, when we go, we can move a lot quicker, fluidly, and you know, get situated at the new shop a lot faster. So that way we can bring you guys in and get started on the builds that much quicker. So let's go out and see what Jack's doing. The outback's already pretty empty and everything like that. We got Silver King out here. We blew the transmission up. Well, I blew the transmission up. Uh oh. Jack, what are you doing out here, dude? Day. What are you doing, dude? Well, you know when your parents come in your room? And they see it's a pigsty. Well, that's what we're dealing with. Every time we come out, it's just a pigsty. Terry, you telling the news or what? Heck yeah. Oh boy, so you already know what I'm leading to. All this stuff's gotta be cleaned up. Bushes that are blown out like that. I'm not bringing it to the new shop. We already did it once before, trailing everything over. It's now time for a nice, fresh, clean slate. Me and Terry know what we want from the new shop. We know how to handle it. We know how we want it to be seen and ran. So let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's clean up this old shop. Let's get ready for version three of the new and improved Terry Thornberry Performance Headquarters. Honestly, we can say the layout, but it really doesn't mean anything until you like visually see it. You know what I mean? Like it's exactly how we've seen the shop. So enough talking. It's time to get to cleaning, it's time to get to organizing. If you've already seen inside, we've disassembled it. It's time to get to outside and just clean things up. And then go from there, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoohoo! That's right. So we got a lot, a lot of cleaning and organizing to do. So it's a great thing that Jack and I got a lot of the builds situated and out. As you guys can see. <laughs> so and we sold a lot of the cars that we did have for sale. So we appreciate that a lot, guys. We appreciate all the support. You guys know who you are, much appreciated. But we still have a couple more, so if you guys are still interested, we do have 
you know, a couple S13 chassis and one S14 chassis over there. The hatches, just these three, because the ones right here, we need Terry to even have more years to tell you guys. But oh, yeah. That would be for later. These are the ones that Jack's talking about that we do have plans for and we're not selling. Yeah. So. But we do have these three up for sale. If have. Yep. The ones, like I was saying, that are still for sale is this S14. 13, 13, and this 13 right here. I said, I know some of you guys in the comments are gonna be like, what the hell, those are like some beat up, you know, garbage cans. Hey, honestly, you know, it's fine. We're not really talking to that demographic. These frame rails are straight, the shock towers are straight. The people who want a fresh chassis to, to build on, you guys know who you are, you know? It's, it's all love in this, it's all love in this community. But deep down, these chassis need a fresh new home, and I know none of you would agree that they belong in a junkyard, isn't that right? So with that being said, we, we've gone through these chassis and made sure, you know, there's no frame damage or anything, you know, that's going to be majorly, um, you know, affecting the chassis if you guys do purchase it from us. So, you know, all, obviously we've already gone through the, you know, further steps that we had to do to make sure that the chassis is going to be 100% if you guys do purchase it. So it's not like you guys are just picking up a, a garbage can or, you know, crumpled up beer can or whatever. So. With that being said, let's just start cleaning them things up and getting this shop ready to be disassembled fully and move on out. And yes, this is our two car enclosed 40 foot trailer. We do own this, baby. So this is another big surprise that Jack and I wanted to save and show you guys but you know time just uh isn't in the essence we have to move and obviously get things done so this isn't the final product this isn't, this isn't the final form we do want to do a lot more to it so just stay tuned and you guys will see the progression baby Woo! what's up ladies and gentlemen we're here at terry thorman performing we got an all-time special deal for you guys you guys see all our parts outside guess what ladies and gentlemen saturday and sunday that's right saturday and sunday we are having all these parts name your price name your price drive shafts trans gas tanks front bumpers rear bumpers calipers you name it ladies and gentlemen hit us up on the dms slide into the dms terry thorman performance let us know what you need and like i said name your price ladies and gentlemen let's go you heard the salesman, quit playing. Get your butt on over here at Terry Thornberry Performance this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Bike is not included. Hey, what are you doing with that chain? Get in there and start it up, dog. No, no, we got a lot of things to tell you. Like I said, we got too much of things to tell you. You guys haven't been updated. Right now, she's going to the trailer with her sister, Terry's car. Is we got some things to show you when we get to the new headquarters. But right now, there's no update time, it's load up time. We've got things to clean up, baby. Let's go. That's right. So, we're actually making Jack's whole motor setup single turbo with a little bit of sauce. Can't really tell you guys just yet, but uh, we got some sauce coming for this, uh, for this year. So just stay tuned and you guys will definitely see a little bit of a uh, little race car time and uh, some, uh, some track time. But we're going to be loading up the car on the trailer, the two car trailer, enclosed baby. That's right. So, okay. We're good? Yeah. All right, make sure there's no slack on the chain. Boom, we're good. Ready? Let's roll. Oh, hold on, we're at the little, the little speed bump. Ready? Just like that. Holy cow. She's moving. She's drifting backwards. Ha! So we're actually going to be loading it up. Getting the car all situated in a two car trailer. 
So stay tuned. Stay tuned as we show you guys. On the damage repair. I guess it's just got dude my bumper. <laughs> we'll, hit a, we'll hit a fine line, you know, get a get a couple new bumpers. Hey, what's up with your uh, with your bumper expense, Doc? You've gone through too many bumpers. Nah, uh, they are the wrong person. Terry's the one with the <laughs> bumpers. This is not me. Let's go. Let's load this thing up. You already see it's got the middle blue. It's already ready. Right there. Right there. Yup. So I'm opening her up. It's a tall boy, so she's got a little bit longer ramp. So, you know, we don't gotta take body kits off no more. Oh. My bad, anymore. So, got this old girl, not a load of mine. You know the trailer needs some work inside, it's maybe the first time you guys are seeing it. Definitely plenty of room for another car. Oh yeah, another car and a pit bike. So we got Terry's old girl in there, time to load. My old girl, the girls will be together in harmony. And then we'll clean up the rest of this shop. So with a little bit of help, Albert. Thanks big dog. Oh my God. You got a... Old girl number two in there. Number two, that's number one. Number one? <laughs> oh, man. Don't say that too loud. <laughs> oh, my. Hold on, let me get the barbecue. Boom. Look at that. We got all of the tires up there. I don't know if you guys can see that back there. We got most of our equipment. We got the easy ups. Tools. We got a lot of stuff back there. My front bumper. Just wait till it's all done. But this is just the packing stage. This isn't us going out to an event stage. So just wait till everything is done and it's ready to go out. Like this ain't acceptable. To the event stage. Yeah, this. Trust me, it's just beginning oh, hot. Like this. Yeah. We know. Don't roast us in the comments. Yep. So. Just wait till it's done. So. Who is coming up? Oh, one of them buggers. Extreme performance. Ex extreme. You gonna put her back or you want me to put her back? Oh my god. I think we got both of our licenses. Wait. <laughs> you need to drive one of these things? I think so. Oh. Alright, you guys will see us loading it all up. Be shown on this stuff. Sorry. We all tap the starter trick while I. This is bad, guys. You gotta look at it two ways. One way it doesn't start on its own, two ways, anti theft deterrent. You know what I mean? Don't worry. You already know because. Modern problems going to modern CP generator. Real soon, getting a brand new battery, brand new starter for the old forklift. We just been situating some things. Hold on, gotta get my water. Gotta get my water before it comes a uh, victim. All right, you're good. Thirsty on this hot day. We'll be taking you guys along with us to show you guys the new shop, the new location the new forever headquarters because we're actually leasing to buy this location so we're actually going to be purchasing it yeah there you go there you go keep going a little bit more 
Huh? A little bit more? You're good on that side all day. You're good on that side. You got all professional right here. Yep, you're good right there. Perfect. <laughs> so this is how we just move her around so we don't have to hook up. No gooseneck. No truck, the old gooseneck. Just real quick, real simple. Time. Way more than the capacity of the facility. Holding on me. There we go, back from the shop we go. Wow.